Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ah, yes, yes. Testing, testing. Yeah. Alright. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Welcome to Good Friday service. Okay.
Good evening, everyone. Ooh, that's really loud. Yeah, awesome. Welcome to Good Friday service. Hopefully you found a fire to be cozy around. If you didn't get a bulletin, we have bulletins up here. We also have scraps of paper. If you'd like to write your sins on them at the end of the service, we'll have, everybody can put them in the fires. Kind of a little traditional, but a little twist on the usual tradition that we've got. So I think we've got everything. We've got a few more people coming, but I, oh, yep, Andy's gonna get a bulletin. Tonight we're gonna do our Stations of the Cross. We're only doing eight, usually there are 13. We cut it down a little bit. Thanks to Rachel for helping to read and thanks to Aaron for singing for us and thank you for to Gloria Peets for playing the keyboard for us. It's nice to have some live music. And so we'll begin our service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Redeeming creator, dust and rocks groan, deserts and prairies weep, bushes and trees moan, rivers and oceans roar, animals of land, sea and sky recoil, sun powers and moon wanes, humanity fails, and darkness laughs, but it will not have its way with us forever. Amen. Amen. And now we journey with Jesus to the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The morning after Jesus was arrested and beaten, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate spoke to the crowd. What do you wish me to do with the man you call the King of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So after flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. God did not spare God's own Son, but delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior, suffered at the hands of sinners and endured the shame of the cross. Grant that we, that we may walk in the way of his cross and find in it the way of life and peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Carrying the cross by himself, Jesus went out to the place called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength, and honor and glory and blessing. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of my people was his strength. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they seized the man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A great number of the people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Those who sowed with tears will weep the song of glory. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty, and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace, the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, 
adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. The soldiers divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. O God, your Son chose the path which led to pain before joy, and the cross before glory. Plant his cross in our hearts, so that in its power and love we may come at last to joy and glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, there they crucified Jesus, and with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right and one on the left. He poured out himself to death, and yet he bore the sin of many. They pierced my hands and my feet. They stare and blow over me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. Clothe us in your spirit so that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and by his glorious resurrection you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, so that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Jesus took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hidden in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. O oh God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oh, 
causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Thank you. 